So this is very exciting. I'm about to start wing assembly. So I consider this a huge landmark to actually see a wing start to take shape. This is very cool. I'm not following the instructions right here. I just slipped on some ribs to the spars just to take a look. I just couldn't wait. So this is very cool. So this is the upper right wing. Um, I got a couple squares on the table here and the butt ribs are lined up approximately on, uh, on the same plane. And I've got a little protractor here and I've got the ribs at about a six degree angle, pretty close. The upper wings have a six degree sweep. So I just put, threw some ribs on here to get a get an idea what this thing's going to look like. So these are about six degrees, and you probably can't see it on camera, but there are, there's a pair of holes here and here and here and here, and those are places where compression tubes go. This is stainless; it's an incorrect part that was sent to me. Um, the info pack's a little unclear about a certain piece of material and this was mistakenly sent. I got the flat stock. Uh, anyway, so the compression tubes won't line up with the ribs. The compression tubes will be perpendicular to the spars because there will be drag wires which will be wires that crisscross in here and those will be pulling the spars together, the compression tubes, kind of obviously, will have a compression force on them from those drag wires. And between the drag wires and the compression tubes, that makes this a very strong box structure. Uh, basically the ribs just hang off that structure to give the wing its airfoil shape, to give you something to, to attach the fabric to. But those drag wires and these compression tubes, one here, one here and one here and there'll be a wooden one glued inside the butt rib. Um, the drag wires and the compression tubes are what make the wings so strong and these giant spars. And now also other uh, other uh, ribs I've seen don't have so many pieces of wood in their structure in their truss. This is a truss structure. It's really beefy. That's why this plane can it is rated for plus and minus nine G's. So that's the the gist of it. It's kind of a nuisance to slide these on there, a snug fit, so I just put three of them on to get an idea. The next thing I'll do, I'll take these back off and the um, the plans, the instructions, have you Take these uh, the spars, clamp them together, flip them upside down, and mark the spots along their length where the ribs go. Now the reason I think they have you flip it upside down is because for the upper wings, the there are some brackets. Um, I think only on the out on the outer end here that stick down, and that's where the interplane strut attaches, and it's where uh, the wires attach that help make the, the define the the wing structure and hold the wing structure rigid. So those brackets poke at the bottom of the upper wing. So you got yeah you pretty much have to build the the upper wing upside down so it lies flat and those brackets will just stick up in the air. Then the lower wings I'm assuming the instructions will tell me to build them right side up because those brackets will be sticking out the top. I think that's why they say to draw the lines on the bottom of these spars. So that's the next thing I'll do. Take these ribs off, um, mark out the spots for where all the ribs go, and then I'll begin to take the brackets that I just drilled one hole in. Um, here's an example. And this will go right here. So I will bolt that on there, and then I will lay this uh, spar over on this face and stick a transfer punch in the other hole and give it a whack and that'll give me the precise location to drill this second hole 
which will, will line up perfectly then with this hole. And I've got to do that for all of these um, using these, but also some other brackets that um, that bolt to the wings. So I've got one hole, and then there'll be another hole right here. I'll bolt that to the spar, put a transfer punch through here and whack it, and drill these other holes. So I've got a little bit of work. Um, one of the first things I'll do will be to get these additional holes drilled um, in these brackets. Um, after that, I should be able to begin assembling it. So this is very cool. I'm very excited.